Hello everyone to lecture two of ocular allergies. In this lecture we're going to learn about the mast cell. In lecture one we talked about what an allergy is using the gel and Klum's classification. Now we're going to expand on this. Remember an allergy is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. The cells that are involved are mainly something called mast cells. There are a few other cells called basophils that also play but for all intents and purposes, the mast cells are the guys that cause allergies. These cells are part of the innate immune system. What this means is that these cells are ready to go and fight things that are foreign to you right from the get-go. Once your innate immune system links up with your adaptive immune system, the adaptive immune system tries to help out. The adaptive immune system is able to give this innate immune system stuff to help it the next time it sees it. One of the ways it, this is accomplished is by producing antibodies. Antibodies are produced in one of five subcategories. If it happens to produce an IgE subtype, these are normally used to fight parasitic infections. It just so happens that these IgE antibodies are the ones that now cause allergies. Antigens that cause allergies are termed allergens. To make things simple, these IgE antibodies can then go on to coat the mast cell. This allows the mast cell to react in a much faster way and a somewhat specific way, making this a so-called bridge between adaptive and innate immunity. In the eye, there are approximately 50 to 300 million mast cells. A lot of these will have specific IgEs bound to their surface. These IgEs are bound to the mast cells by something called the FC epsilon R1 receptor. There are a few other receptors that these may be bound to, but we'll focus on the main one here. The IgE and FC epsilon R1 receptor combine and act as one super receptor. That's not an actual immunologic term, by the way. Once an allergen comes in, Let's use grass pollen as an example. If the IgE happens to know that this is grass and thinks that it's foreign or an invader, it will degranulate. When a mast cell degranulates, it's essentially performing chemical warfare. The mast cell has all sorts of chemicals and toxins that are supposed to neutralize whatever's coming in. This is normally helpful if you're being infected by some kind of parasite. There is a reason why we evolved to have these mast cells after all. In the remote past, you have to remember that we were surrounded, and still are to this day, by bacteria, viruses, and parasites. When the mast cells are exposed to one of these pathogens, remember, things that can harm you, you want them to release their chemical mediators. You want to have itchy, watery eyes to get rid of whatever's harming your eye. Histamine is one of these chemicals that are released, causing you to have an itchy feeling and causing you to have runny, watery eyes. When these symptoms occur in response to something that's innocuous like grass, it's not helpful for you to experience these symptoms because grass pollen is actually not harmful to your body. So as such, these chemicals that are released will cause all sorts of symptoms. So just to recap, remember, a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is an allergy. It's mediated by mast cells bound to specific IgE. This is why we get seasonal and perennial allergies. In the third lecture, we will talk about how all of this comes into play with respect to ocular allergies.